Hello and OMG, welcome back to my channel where today we have another fun lash video because I'm going to be showing you more lashes that we found at the 99 cent store. So if you wanna see if they are guilty of being worthy of your dollars, then go ahead and keep on watching. But before we continue, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you click the bell so you get notified of when I upload. I know every time you watch somebody on YouTube, they always say that, but it really does help with supporting somebody's channel, especially mine. I have a very small channel and I have all these amazing lashes that I review for you. So definitely please subscribe. There's a lot of you watching for free and that ain't cool. So make sure you subscribe. You definitely wanna join my jury because I always give you the most honest opinions here on YouTube about lashes. So we all know that there is nothing better than saving a buck or two on some lashes, especially because lashes can tend to be a little bit on the expensive side, well, at least they were in the beginning when lashes were starting to like come out to the forefront and we were starting to get like a bunch of different styles from like Lily lashes, uh, Batty B lashes and so on and so forth. Those lashes were always on the more expensive side. As we have progressed here in the beauty industry, we have so many great lashes now for so, so cheap. And my mom had actually went to the 99 cent store and she had FaceTimed me and she was like, oh my God, look at these lashes. I found some more lashes. Do you want them? And I was like, yes, please grab them for me so I could share them with you all here on my YouTube channel. And I have four pairs of more Ioni lashes. So if you have a Dollar Tree by you or a 99 cent store, I even wanna go as far as to say a Dollar General, I'm not too sure, or a five and below, wherever you are located. I'm located in Southern California. We have 99 cent store, we have the Dollar Tree, and that is where you can find Ioni lashes. Now, Ioni lashes is a very, 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 very inexpensive lash brand that strictly is only sold at 99 cent stores and Dollar Tree stores. If you go to their website, you can basically buy in wholesale. You could buy lashes in bulk, but I mean, I don't know if you guys are out there wanting to pay $100 for a bunch of lashes, but that's what they do offer. So pause right now, go to nine cent store, go to the Dollar Tree, go check if they, if they have Ioni. Typically these lashes do sell out. My mom found these and they had a ton of them in stock. So I'm gonna show you these four pairs and see if they are guilty of being worthy of your dollars. So there's some eyeliner on the right side of my eye because I want to show you what these lashes look like with and without eyeliner. I used the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Liquid Eyeliner in black. I typically don't like this one, but this is a good one if you're trying to get a precise liner on the inner corner of your eye. Other than that, this is like a whatever type of eyeliner. But for those of you who will ask, that is what it is. Got it in a boxy charm. Let's move on. So the first one I have is um, in the style Criss Cross Cat Eye Long. Now, what I like about this collection from Ioni, I don't even know really like what the collection is. Maybe it looks like a designer collection because they kind of have like a design on them that's kind of very reminiscent of Louis Vuitton in a way. Um, so maybe this is like some luxury collection that they have. I don't know. But what I like is that these lashes have the names based on the style of them. When lashes have names that are of like names of people or like these random names, I feel like it's hard to remember, but I really, really like that they base these lashes on, on their style. So by the way, these lashes are cruelty free. They're a hundred percent handmade. They are vegan. Um, they are supposed to be reusable, lightweight, and have a flexible band. So if any of you are curious about them being cruelty free and vegan, it is right here on the back of the packaging for you all. And then here are all the social media handles for Ioni. Now, since these lashes are super on the super affordable side, the packaging is not the best. Like for example, I just took out the lashes and the whole thing kind of just came out with it. Um, but that's kind of what you can expect from a very affordable lash. So here is crisscross cat eye long. So this is exactly what the packaging says. It is a crisscross lash that offers a cat eye look and it is actually very long. Now, when I take it out of the packaging, um, these lashes do have a shine to them, as you can see right here, once the camera focuses. It's not focusing. Come on. Okay, anyways, there is a shine to the lash, which, you know, these are labeled as 3D foaming lashes before a 3D foaming lash. They're a little bit on the shiny side. So when lashes are on the shiny side, what that means is that, you know, they're not like a mink lash. They're, you know, not like a silk lash. They, 
They do have a shine to them. It Sometimes it can show up when you're wearing the lashes, but um, I've mentioned here on my channel that a way that a way that you can get rid of the shine on some lashes is by coating them with mascara. And when you coat them with mascara, the mascara kind of mutes out um, and gets rid of that shine. So I'm just adding some duo glue here with the green writing on it. For those of you who ask what glue I use, I always use this glue. I don't use anything else. Um, I used to use different ones, you know, a while ago, but I've stuck to just one type of glue. It just makes things easier for me. So if any of you are wondering what glue I use, that is the one that I use. <laughs> um, but let's see how these lashes play out. And comment down below if you've ever tried Ioni lashes, if you've ever had the opportunity to get your hands on them. I really enjoyed the last ones that I tried here on my channel, so make sure you go and watch that video. Let's go ahead and put them on. So the one is on. So remember, this is the Criss Cross Cat Eye long, which means it's a long crisscross cat eye. Love, love, love how the name just makes it easier. Like, hey, like when you're doing a makeup look and you're like, I need a something that's crisscross and a cat eye. Oh, let me go get my Ioni ones. Okay, so this is crisscross cat eye long. What do you all think of her? I'm gonna just turn to the right and the left so I could show you the curl of the lashes. So for example, as I look this way, you could see the curl. And I look this way, you could see the curl. So these are some, not heavy, sorry, my nose is itchy. They're not like heavy lashes, um, but they're very bushy. Um, and because they are so bushy and they curl up, they tickle around your eye space. So as you're blinking around, they tickle around. So um, that might bug you. I could definitely feel them. Um, I do think that I need to trim down ooh, the edges a little bit just because I feel like, um, I don't know, I feel like they're kind of just like tickling around and stuff. Is my camera blurry or just me? No, it's clear, it's clear. It's hard to see you guys, it's just me here filming. I don't have like a team that's telling me, oh girl, your camera is out of focus, blurry, whatever. So it's just me, um, but yeah, anyways. Um, these lashes are on the heavier side in terms of the clusters of lashes. I don't know if per se they give you the cat eye look. Like when I think of cat eye, I think of very pulled out and angled. These ones are more of like a lift and flare, if that makes sense. Um, they have more of like a curl to them where the lashes almost look like a perm. They are very comfortable though for them being so bushy. Um, as far as how they look, you know what? I do like them. I think they look better with eyeliner because these lashes are so dramatic and they have kind of like, the band looks thicker on than what it is that when you have a thick black band or a band that looks thick that's black on an eyelash, um, when you pair it without any liner of any sort on your eye, sometimes it looks a little too much. It looks a little um, aggressive. So I think that the left eye doesn't look as good without eyeliner. I think that this lash looks really pretty with you know, eyeliner. And if you do a cat eye look like a wing, I feel like it would accentuate the lash even more. So we're off here to a good start. What I also really like about these lashes, looking at them in the mirror, is that they are triple layered, double layered in a sense. So it's really nice to have that multi-dimensional look on a lash just because it adds an extra pop to your lashes. It, act it adds extra drama to them, which is super nice. So the next ones we have are in the style Wispy Crisscross. So these ones are a lot different than the ones I have on right now they're literally a wispy crisscross i'm going to take them out of the packaging so i could show you them so here is the style um wispy crisscross so i'm going to show her outside of the packaging so this one covering up that one a little much i like this one so far this one is probably a little bit more um for everybody because it's not as heavy as the previous one um and it literally offers a wispy crisscross look to it again i love the names of these lashes it, like if i ever were to have the opportunity to come out with an eyelash line i would love to do something like that where the name of the lashes goes with the style that way when you're getting ready you know it's just so much easier to be like oh my god i need those lashes because that's exactly the look i'm going for so i can appreciate Ioni Lash is putting together um, a collection that details the style of the lash as the name of the lash. Now, they feel pretty flexible. They do feel really lightweight. They don't have that much of a shine to them. I don't know why my camera is not focusing in um, on the lashes, but I don't want to spend too much time on that because I want to show you all 
what they look like on. Now, when you use this duo glue, it dries down really quick. So you don't have to wait like a whole minute for the glue to dry as compared to the other duo glues. So I highly recommend this one, especially if you're somebody who's on the go, doesn't have time to sit around and wait for eyelash glue to dry. You want to pick up this one in particular. It looks like it goes on blue, but when it dries down, it dries down clear. So don't even worry about that. Don't trip about that. Um, if you're someone like me who has really bad sinuses, you sneeze throughout the day, your eyes get watery, um, you want to get this glue. It literally withstands sneezes and, and everything. So it's a really tough glue. So here is Wispy Crisscross. What do you all think of her? Okie dokie, my friends. So this lash does touch a little bit around your eye space. So it's kind of very ticklish, especially on the left eye. I don't know why the left eye right here, it is so ticklish. So um, to be honest, that is something that would bug me. But a quick fix is I would just push the lash down. Like say, for example, you really like the way a lash looks, but it keeps poking up at your eyebrows and your eye space and it's really bothering you. Just push it down, pushing it down really does help to keep it from tickling your, your eye space. What's really nice though about this lash is because it, what's really nice about this lash is it's very lightweight. So it doesn't feel heavy. It almost feels like you're wearing nothing. The only thing you literally feel are the eyelashes touching around um, your eye space. This is a beautiful, natural lash. So for those of you who want a lash extension look, something on the natural side that's a little bit gearing towards the medium size, but isn't so dramatic where it's giving away that you're wearing fake lashes. This is a type of lash you would want. So if you find um, Wispy Crisscross, please pick this one up. Like I would love to have more of these. This is the perfect everyday lash. I really like how it has the slightest bit of a cat eye. Like it kind of goes out, but then the lashes are very tapered. I typically don't like the way tapered lashes look on me. This one has more of a tapered look, meaning that the lashes are longer in the center of the eye. If you're someone who likes tapered lashes, these are for you. You're going to want wispy crisscross. These are beautiful. And what's nice is even though it's a lighter lash, it stands out up against the eyeliner, which is hard to find in a natural lash. So for those of you who still like the eyeliner looks, you still want to pull off a cat eye eyeliner, but want to pair with the natural lash, but are afraid that the eyeliner is going to mute out the lashes. You're not going to have that issue with this one. I really, really, really like this one. This is a beautiful natural lash. Absolutely stunning. Y'all need this one for sure. So the next one we have is Wispy Crisscross Dramatic. So it's basically this one, but dramatic. And this is what it looks like. By the way, let's admire the packaging. It looks like super like luxurious, very Louis Vuitton vibes. Like it has like those like little designs like this one right here. Um, very nice. This one has a lot of curl to it. Let me just go ahead and take it out of the packaging. But wait, let me take these lashes off um, and then I'll show you these ones. Okay, so here's Wispy Crisscross Dramatic. So this is the dramatic version of the previous one I tried on. So if you like the one I tried on before, but you're someone who's more on the medium to larger lash side, then this one is gonna be the one probably that you like the most. So as you can see, it's a lot bigger than the previous one. Why is this not focusing? So weird. Anyways, let's just go ahead to trimming down and trying on. So also comment down below um, when more towards the end of this video, like which ones were your favorite if you do plan on going. And if you do go to um, your local 99 cent store, Dollar General, whatever it may be, and you do pick some up, let me know which ones you get. I love to know. Um, if you've ever commented here on my channel, I'm very interactive. I usually respond as quickly as I can. Sometimes on some of my videos, I can't see comments. It's weird. So I go on YouTube studio and I'm able to see that you did comment. But when I go to actually click the comment, it's not there. So if you commented on a video and I haven't responded, try to comment on one of my newer videos um, and just ask, you know, whatever you were asking in the previous comment if I was unable to get back to you. Um, it's usually for those reasons. So um, other than that, yes, I'm very interactive. So if you do pick up these lashes, let me know. I usually follow up with you all and ask like, hey, let me know um, how you liked them and whatnot, just because I do like to know your experience, especially if I'm recommending you something. I want to know if you got that same experience I got out of them or say, for example, I didn't like a lash, but you did. Let me know. I like to know those things. It gives me good feedback. Especially if you let me know like what type of eye shape you guys have. 
Um, that also helps me as well because I'm only basing, you know, what these look like off of my eye shape. So it'd be nice to know like, hey, um, if you have hooded eyes or if you have um, larger eyes, smaller eyes, almond shaped eyes, whatever your shape is, you're like, hey, like these lashes really worked for me. It definitely helps to give me insight on, you know, what you all like. Also, what I think is a cool idea, let me know down below if you all want to see this. You know how in videos, um, videos, in my videos, I give you um, recommendations like what look, what I think would look good with an eye, a specific eyelash. Like for example, say I try on a lash that's super dramatic and I say, hey, you guys, like this would look really good with a smoky eye. You know how here on camera I do one eye with eyeliner, one eye without eyeliner. What do you all think if I were to do maybe one eye, like a smoky eye and one eye plain. I know it'd probably look crazy, but I wouldn't mind doing that for y'all if you wanted to see maybe what lashes look like up against a halo eye, a smoky eye. That way I could do one eye dramatic, one eye basic essentially. That way you guys can get the full effect of what the lashes would look like. I thought it was a cool idea. Um, let me know if that's something you guys, you know, would want for the next lash review. I totally don't mind doing that. Um, I definitely won't leave my house with, you know, one eye done a certain way because that'll look crazy. Anyways, here is Wispy Crisscross Dramatic. What do you all think of Wispy Crisscross Dramatic? So this one has, from what I can see, a very intense curl. You see that? That's, that's a very, very intense curl. Okay. So in terms of how this eyelash feels, the right one was a little bit difficult to glue on. I'm um, not sure what was going on there. But in terms of how this one feels now, the band is very comfortable, very well, lightweight. This lash is very tapered and has very long lashes in the center. So you're going to feel these lashes essentially touching around your eyebrow space. Not ticklish in a way where it's going to bug you. So these would be comfortable for an all day look. If you're going somewhere that's an all day event, you want a long tapered lash. This one's going to be very comfortable. Nothing's poking the outer and inner corners of my eyes as well because the band is so comfortable. This lash is absolutely stunning. Like, and again, I usually don't like tapered lashes, but this one does offer a little bit of a wing a cat eye and I love that. You guys know for my eye shape, I love cat eye looks, but this very tapered look where the lashes pull upward really just open up your eyes. I have big eyes as it is and sometimes lashes like these just make me look super bug eyed, but no, these are so pretty. Like this lash right here up against a halo eye would be absolutely stunning. Like a halo eye with glitter in the center because the focus point or the focal point, the main star of the show of the lashes is the center because that's where the lashes point upward the most. If you were to have like a halo eyeshadow peeking through it, oh my God, chef's kiss, so, so beautiful. This lash is stunning. Even for a natural look, a dramatic look, an eyeliner look, this is absolutely beautiful. Like I love this one. So, so far I absolutely, 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 absolutely love Wispy Crisscross and Wispy Crisscross Dramatic. Okay, so the next, well, so last but not least, again, this packaging is so cute. It looks like little Louis Vuitton vibes. This one right here is called Wispy Cluster Doll. So this one offers a wispy cluster of lashes and I'm assuming it's supposed to give you a very doll eyed look. Let me go ahead and take it out of the packaging. I love the packaging on these ones. I like the packaging on this one a lot better than like the fruit collection that I had reviewed before. And I, I don't know, I just think it's like super cute and super luxurious and it makes you feel like bougie on a budget type of thing. So I really, really, really like it. This is what these look like. So as you can see, these are a lot different than the previous ones because they basically offer a long lash and then in between a cluster of very short lashes. So I wanna see if these do give us um, that um, clustered doll eyed look. Some people I wanna say call it doe eyed, which is basically Basically like your lashes or your lashes, your eyes just look like very big, um, very awake, very open. So let's see if these offer that type of look. I haven't, I don't, do I try on really like doll like lashes? I don't think I have a pair that's like super doe eyed, doll eyed. I probably have some like somewhere here in the mix, but um, I really don't buy lashes like these just because on, on me in particular, they don't accentuate anything on my eyes. Um, but let's see, we won't want to speak too fast because Ioni always pleasantly surprises me, which is nice. It's always nice to have a very affordable brand 
take you out of your comfort zone in terms of eyelash looks and then make you just feel, you know, really beautiful with, you know, very inexpensive uh, lashes. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing more better than that. We love an affordable lash. We love an affordable look. You know? Okay. Ooh! That one did not go on well. Okay. So here is Wispy Cluster Doll. What do you think of her? Okay, so it has like a nice little protrusion there. Um, it is so weird because when I've been trying on these lashes, it's one eye that is always like really tickling the eyebrow. Instead of it being on the left eye this time, it's the right eye. So the right eye is kind of just like really tickling the inner corner of my eye. Now, this one right here, it, it's a smaller lash and it does scoop up. So it is kind of touching around on the right eye, not on the left eye. So I don't know what's going on here. Maybe the lashes are longer on this one. Does it give you that doll eye effect? No, I don't think so. However, I do like this lash. It's different, y'all. It's different in the sense that it looks very spiky and it has like a different type of wisp to it because we have those lashes that are so short in between the longer lashes. It gives your lash a fullness and a wisp and length all in one. So it's kind of like a triple it's doing like three things at once, this type of lash. It's like a triple threat here. I typically don't like lashes that are this short, but this is actually really beautiful just because it has such a different effect to them. They offer, you know, a lift. They open up the eyes. Like they're, they're actually really cute. So let me go ahead and put some eyeliner on my left eye so I can give you my verdict on these Ioni lashes. All right, my jury, so what do we think of this Ioni collection? Now, I wanna call this like, I don't know, is it like a luxury collection? Like I don't see anything on the box that says like it's a luxury collection, but it looks like it because it has such like cute, like Louis Vuitton-ish vibes to the packaging. Now, let's do a run through of the lashes. So we essentially got, we started off with a very dramatic lash. We went to a natural lash. Then we went to like a medium one. And then we went back down to like in between natural and medium. So what's really nice about this collection right here is that you get a full range of lashes that you could pull off multiple looks with and very affordable, y'all. Like you really can't be 99 cents. Like, where else can you find beautiful lashes for this price? Like comment down below if there is something 99 cents that looks better than this because I, I can't even name any brand. I love Ioni. I love how affordable they are. I love that they have lashes that so far would look like to me cater to everyone and there's nothing better than having a lash for everyone at such an affordable price looking bougie on a budget type of vibe. So with that being said, my verdict is guilty of being worthy of your dollar. So if you have a Dollar Tree by you, a 99 cent store, please go out and see if they have these lashes. If they do not have them in store, check online. I have seen Ioni lashes sold through independent sellers where you can pick them up through third-party sites if you trust them, such as Etsy, eBay. I have seen um, these on sale there. So if you can pick them up, pick them up. You need them. Anyways, hope that you all found this video very informative. Please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Click the bell so you get notified of every time that I do upload a video. Please always be kind and spread peace, love, and happiness. I will see you all in my next video. Also, I forgot to say happy holidays. Happy holidays from me to you. Let's make this season nothing but, you know, just everything spectacular, everything holiday. Let's all be kind to each other and just always continue to spread love and pray for everyone around us because it has been a difficult two years as we enter into this holiday season. Just keep in mind, we've all been through a lot. So, you know, let's just make this, this season as magical as possible. So anyways, I'll see you all later. Peace.